conflict comes with the territory of being a leader. In most cases, you can't stop it. You can't control it. But what you can control is your response to it. I'm going to share with you my cues to help you to use the power of your imagination to at least create a positive outcome for yourself. So what's the first thing that I do to prepare myself for conflict? Because it is going to happen every day. I create a mental picture of success for myself and the people that I'm going to engage in business with because I want them also to have a positive experience with me. So once I create that mental picture of success, now the second thing I do is I think about the energy that I'm giving. You want to give good vibes. We underestimate the power of positive vibrations, right? We don't think about that. People do have bad days. Some people, they had no intention of making your life horrible that day, but just things happen like that. But you should be the one to bring the positive energy. And so I raise my positive energy and the more negative the situation is, the more positive I try to become. Now it requires a lot of effort, but again, I told you, I've already told myself, this is the mental picture of success. And in that picture, I'm telling myself, I'm going to act this way because I want to bring positive energy to the situation. I want that person to feel good when they engage in conflict with me. The third thing I do, I reinterpret what they're saying in a positive way. It helps me to think more scientifically about what they're saying. Because you know, some people, they say things to you because they're simply trying to get you roused up. They're trying to, you know, just knock you off your game. But I reinterpret it and I do active listening. And in my active listening, I say things that are not going to be interpreted as incendiary or negative. Now, there are some people, no matter what you say, <laughs> you know those people, <laughs> they are always going to hear it in a bad way because that's the type of value system that they have. But what I'm trying to help you to understand is when you assume positive intent, it creates an atmosphere for the environment that does not allow the conflict to dominate the space. So at the very least, you don't feel bad for working with a person for eight hours. At least you feel good. You can't help the other people, but you can <laughs> control your atmosphere. I'm Stephen Garner. Thank you for watching today. Listen, take your cues from me and live a great life. Next cue.